guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and today I have... Oh, uh, Wes. <laughs> Not as awkward as possible, too late, it's already happened. So today, for a fun, awesome craft video that revolves around Halloween, we found these fantastic Pinterest projects that involve these. And we're gonna do them today. And we wanted, to, we wanted to go ahead and do this project way in advance before, you got like two weeks before Halloween? Yeah. So, and so this weekend, and then you got another one last weekend before actual Halloween, so you get to do this project before Halloween. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So let's look at some supplies. You're gonna need these little itty bitty white pumpkins. They are real pumpkins. And for the other project, you're going to need some plastic pumpkins. Yes, they're fake. And you're going to need some tulip fabric glow paint. Yes, it is fabric paint and it will stay on the pumpkin. And some acrylic craft paint, paper plate, brushes, water, etc. So, what you're going to do first is you're going to take your tan and a white, or if you have a skin color, just to get that donut color for the bottom of your pumpkins, your little white real pumpkins, and you're going to paint half of those pumpkins. And then you're going to create the paint for the frosting. So to start off, Wes is demonstrating here that some pink frosting. No, it just get it as pastel looking. We all know what pink frosted donuts look like. So get that pink color. And you also wanna go ahead and get a chocolate color going. Um, not too dark and not too light. Whatever actually looks like chocolate frosting. <laughs> and I, we also went ahead and made a white frosting pumpkin donut. Once the paint is dry on top of the frosting, go ahead and add those sprinkles. Now, when it came to the white and pink frosted sprinkles, I didn't have to mix my paint in a white paint to go ahead and put it on top of them just because they, they stood out really well. But for the chocolate donut, I had to go in and I would mix my purple with a little bit of white, my blue with a little bit of white, my yellow with a little bit of white, just because um, it w if I were to put the sprinkles, just a flat color on the chocolate donut, they wouldn't have showed up as well. They would have been a little streaky and not look like and not stand out as much. So yeah, just add a little bit of white for that step when it comes to your chocolate donut. And Wes made little Snapchat ghost all over his little pumpkin. The last step I did was I took an ac acrylic gloss and I put it over my little pumpkins because I wanted them to at least last a little while. Plus it gave them a nice little shine. Now for our glow in the dark pumpkins, what we went ahead and did is we just took a pencil and we drew all over our pumpkins. And then we just grabbed our acrylic paint and we painted on top of them. And as soon as we were done adding our acrylic paint, we grabbed the glow fabric tulip paint and we put it on the highlights around the area that we wanted it to be in. Um, it's probably going to take a couple of layers for the for the tulip paint. You just want to keep adding later, layers and everything because you want it to actually show up. And here's a really fun technique that I learned from Pinterest was to make the spider web technique on top of the pumpkin by using the lines of the actual pumpkin and creating a spider web. Oh, it turned out so amazing. But yeah, you just want to go ahead and take your tulip fabric paint and just add those highlights where you want to see a little bit of glowing in the dark action going on. And you want to make sure that you charge your, gl your glow in the dark paint. You can either do this by taking your, L your light on your cell phone, an LED light, or leaving it out in the sunlight for a little bit. Just so you can go ahead and charge that glow paint and it'll show up nice in the dark. But yes, guys, I hope this was fun and you enjoyed this. And I hope you'll go and do this fun little technique with pumpkins for Halloween. I love the pumpkin donuts. They look good enough to eat. Have a wonderful day.